Hey guys, Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Welcome back to another Twinkle Tips Friday. We hope you are having a great time getting set up. It's Halloween, and we've got a little hint that may help you during your setup, if not now for Halloween, but maybe for Christmas. If you didn't know, this is hidden in X Lights. Stay tuned, we'll tell you about it. So guys, it's setup season here, and I know that everybody's kind of trying to get things set up, going, rolling. If you're in Halloween mode, uh, like today's Friday the 13th, Rob's actually putting his show up in, in, right now as we speak. So um, what I wanted to do, though, is for those of you who are setting up, uh, maybe you didn't know this about some of the functions that are built in X lights and you see we're on um, we're on my home layout my old home layout and this is the controller tab page where you can open up and look and visualize all of the controllers and how you have your models set up plugged in and so forth if you need a simple way to tell yourself where you plug something in at as you're setting up your show and you've taken the time now maybe you remember certain things but maybe you don't remember everything i can tell you whenever i put my show together i don't remember everything it's a lot i mean whenever you have two three four five hundred models in your show that's a lot to plug in so what we can do is we can right click and we can save as an s a csv file i'm going to save this in my nutcracker folder and now we have this fields to include box. Some of the most important things are you need to know the model name. So let's go find the model description, okay? Maybe you want to know the model pixel count. And there's other information in here that might be helpful to you. Um, but uh, the, the model pixel count and the model description uh, and the, the port current, let's, let's just put some basics in there, those three things. Click OK, and now it's created, it's on, on my other screen right here, it's created a, uh, a file. We'll go ahead and open that up. And let's go ahead and double click on some of these, open these up so that we can see what we got. So this says, this is our output pixel port number. So it, in my show, I have an F16 V2R, that's a red board from 2017. Um, and then the items that are on the that are assigned to this controller this happens to be a wall matrix that i had in front of my house the lower part of my wall and i had uh, a couple of panels there a number of panels actually and these are all five volt pixels and you can see here i had 150 pixels on this output here and this is like my wall matrix left string number one string number two string number three four five etc 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 and so i use 16 outputs to plug that in and that's how i did it now on the 17th port i had a star a, a couple stars and then i had my arches out in the front so i had arch number one but i also had a second set of models so i big piggybacked off of them and i had arch number one and arch number two those were connected together and you can see here pixel port number 21 so uh and then i on pixel tw uh port 23 and 24 i used those for the singing uh uh stocking that boscoyo made uh, it has two different strands. I, I put it on two different outputs because it made it easier. That's one simple way to quickly get the data from X lights for a specific controller. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. You could also go in and you can do this individually for all of them. Now, that would get quite monotonous. Now, I, don't, I didn't have anything on that controller. Let's see what I have on this one. I have a couple things on this one here. This was uh, my roof controller, my F48. Uh, it's, which was kind of silly to put up there. Here's a uh, here's a port uh, another matrix I had on my neighbor's house. You can see how I had it set up. I had 17 outputs assigned for it. But doing each of these individually is going to get kind of annoying because now if you, if you have like seven controllers or 10 controllers, you've got to right click, save as CSV, save the location, and then check all the boxes. Let me show you another way to do this if we go up into the tools menu and we come down here to where it says export and this is the export section this is export models now export models might have some data in there that's helpful but in this instance we just need the controller connection data and here's the same thing only it's a bulk number so we'll go ahead controller connections we'll save it as that and then what we're going to do next is i'll, I'll 
uh, you'll see the same field box is exactly what was on the other visualizer page is exactly showing up here. So we can go and we can click on model description. We can click on uh, pixel count, model pixel count, see how many pixels are in it, and the pixel port. And we'll go ahead and click OK. I'll go ahead and open that up from the other screen. Controller connection. And now, now you have every single one of your controllers, and it's actually f formatted. It's formatted a little bit nicer. It shows pixel port 1. Here is my wall matrix left. Pixel port 17, that was a star. You can see that. Oh, it has 90 pixels uh, 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 that are attached to it. Um, so I'm looking for a 90 count pixel star that I'm going to plug into port number 17. Now if I keep scrolling down, now you can see that we have a couple other things here. We have all of our other controllers. We have uh, my F48 roof controller, uh, my F48 V4 that is. We got the reindeer on there. Those run some receivers and then I have my SIG and bulbs and I got my icicles and I got this and I got that. So th this breaks it all down. This tells me how many pixels I've got on everything. It tells you if I have a daisy chained model. So here's model number one. Here's model number two. So uh, I actually, I used to have a, an AC reindeer. I still have it, um, but I ran it with a, um, I ran it with one of David Peace's uh uh, pixel two things board and so that was how I plugged in my AC reindeer into my nine reindeer line and because uh, he was AC you could just go through this and, and it just makes it so much easier it kind of does help if you take the time to go into your X lights layout and kind of give all of your controllers a name or maybe a description or maybe you place it by location like where does this go uh, i've always been one for the more information the better uh and, and the other nice thing is that my neighbor did help me um so if if you wanted to you could print this out or you could do some screen captures or you could send the file to your phone and it, once you do that you can just open it up you can have it here and in your phone and not only that you'd be able to to pinch to zoom and if you needed to make a change you could put the change in there go back into the house and then make the change in your x lights and kind of set it all up well guys i hope you enjoyed this little twinkle tips friday video if you did give us a big thumbs up and hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section we love hearing your suggestions not just for videos but also what songs should we add to the store what kind of things are you looking for at pixel pro displays what can we do for you to get you enticed to do more with your home layout and things within the community guys if you appreciate the things we do consider joining the ppd sequence club where we do one awesome sequence each and every month we've been doing two now consistently for an entire year plus so join the club it really means a difference to us. We hope these videos make a huge difference to you. Thank you for joining us and take care. We will talk to you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.